Hello my friends, my name is Saul Montoya, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial will be about how to smart download OpenStreetMap special data with QS3 and QuickOSM. Okay, so what we are going to talk is about how to download on a smart way the data from OpenStreetMap in QS3. Uh, OpenStreetMap, what is OpenStreetMap? OpenStreetMap is a special database that stores lots of data okay around the world uh, this is a collaborative project so and that means that it's open so it has data for many type of layer that we are going to show some of them in this tutorial and it's, it's kind of a really good it's actually used for some navigation systems is data that is uh, done by a collaborative group and well it really depends on the country that where you have more data or less data but in any case if you are working in a country that is not yours or like if you want some data some data but in really i mean um, instantaneously open the stream up is a good resource okay so the data that like what we have here we can actually well this is this is actually the the website of OpenStreetMap, but we can access to this data in QS3. So in order to do that, what we are going to do is to we are going to install Q, Quick OSM. That is Quick OSM. Okay, Quick OSM. Okay, there are if I type OSM, there are many. OSM plugins like OSM Downloader, there is uh, OSM Tools. And so, uh, why I why did you choose Quick OSM instead of OSM Downloader? Because actually, I just want some layers of the total of the total layers of the OpenStreetMap. Okay, I don't want I do not want the whole set of layers. I only want some layers as waterways or as uh, um uh, highways or like buildings or historical places so in order to do that i i use quick osm i install the plugin mm -hmm. okay okay great so if you have seen Quick OSM actually appears here and appears as well in Vector. So, but I will use this one. Okay, maybe Vector Quick OSM, Quick OSM. Okay, so this is the general view, but actually we need to to have a like a your reference because actually we don't have any any reference of what to download. So I go, I will use Quick Map. Uh, it's the same if you have a. I will add the Google Satellite Hybrid. Okay. And then I will download something of Italy. Okay, great. Okay, great. So I'm going to download some special data from here. So what I do is I just go to vector quick OSM, quick OSM. Okay, uh, I will. I want to use like. I have done uh, buildings. I want to download buildings, and I will use the extent of map canvas because, yeah, I would like to use this one. Actually, this is in. I'm not in geographical coordinates. I am in pseudo mercator coordinates. Okay, but so far as I so far as I okay here I am a pseudo mercator. Uh, it works well. Okay. So extend of map canvas. Then one of the advantage of Quick OSM is that actually it works with a API that is called Overpass API. That is an API 
is a part of the code that is optimized for downloading some part of the database okay so uh, what you are going to see here is actually the xml query of using the overpass api well actually you don't have you do not need to do that okay there are some okay so yes buildings extend of map canvas run query okay and what it says that it has already the result so what is the result the result is all of these that are, are the buildings inside i mean this is the building from the database inside the area of the map canvas and maybe i can show you another type like maybe i want to show you oh waterways because there are channels here and why not i do show you some waterways okay and that's great because here i have the river yeah and like i can put some style as rivers because rivers are not like this like simple blue and this waterway you can type it as simple blue apply okay and then i have this that has actually okay uh, i have some there are some uh, infrastructure here well no worry okay uh then i can add some highways why don't i do not add some highways so i go to i i can use this one or go to vector quick oxen quick so the same and then i can go to um, highway yeah i can even uh, do some like a smarter research like trying to have some type of the highway uh, this really depends on the quality of the database on the area but let's try that i want to use just the primary highways okay yes i run my query and they say okay you don't have any results here so actually i won't use the primary tag but i will use motorway let's see if i have some query no i don't have any results so i i won't use any kind of classification okay and this is it and here i have my highway my highway and i will select this as well a highway is gray and maybe a little bit thicker okay great so these are my highways okay and then what else could i need actually i don't i don't like this okay great yeah uh oh oh okay 0 0.6 0.2 okay and then what else do i need ah here i have for example i can have what is here in the attribute table i can have some nodes that are intersections not so much interesting and on waterways as well and then i can have some historical buildings as well okay so i just go here this is the same as some vector and then i go to historical yeah mm -hmm. run query okay so here i have two places of historic and in this historic place i can rot that and then i can apply some labels here 
for name with a buffer okay apply okay so here I, I have an obelisk okay and for example for this as well I can do some some labels okay and then here I have another place okay great so if you have seen um, with the use of this uh, plugin it, you can do some smart and you can get spe the, uh, special data on vector form on a um, very 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 short time frame um, and then you can work with your research your mapping or like your consulting or whatever special process that you are doing okay so far uh, really thank you for following us what we are we are Hatari Labs Hatari Labs is actually a blog dedicated to knowledge sharing and open source software okay we do a lot of tutorials and I hope that our, our tutorials will satisfy and maybe that our tutorial will be helpful for you okay so you can follow us in Facebook and Twitter and we have a newsletter as well and we have online courses that you can you might take okay so uh, really thank you for following us if you like this video just subscribe to the to the YouTube channel and give, maybe you can give a like to the video as well okay have a great day and hope to see you in coming tutorials bye bye bye